recording. And Feverish, why don't you do our first line? All right. Uh, Hikari no uh, Ugoki ya uh, Tomata. Uh, so I think like Hikari or Hikari means to like shine. Basically, um, it means light. Okay, so it's like a moving light, I guess. Hi. And then uh, it's it stopped, I think. Yes. <laughs> so Annie had a flashlight that she was kind of float, kind of moving it all around near the skies. So this is just telling us that moving light, her flashlight, has stopped moving. Okay. Um, kurayami no naka ni chisa na koya ga ukabi agatta. So within the darkness, um, there was a small little hut, um, kind of sitting in the tree, basically. Ukabi agatta is a weird word, but that that's kind of what it means uh, to come to front, to emerge from the dark background. Coming out. All right. Okay, and um, Cookie, now it's going to be your turn. Okay. Mori de ichiban takai ki no. Perfect. So this right here is all describing the Maho no tree house. So Maho no tree house is a magic tree house, all right? Yep. And uh, uh, from the forest, I'm starting from Mori there. Mm. Um, that's starting from the tree. Um, uh, so from the tree house, um, it, there's one tall tree. No, the, from the, the top right. of the tree or something. No, nope. you're the first guess was right. Ichiban takai ki. This is the most oh, the, tallest tree. Yeah, the tallest tree. The yeah. ue ni aru is referring to the location of the maho tree house. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. So it doesn't totally say from. It says mori de, which basically means in the forest. Oh, de, so yeah. De is for, for a non-moving location. But yeah, good job. Thanks. Um, Annie ga tree house kara sagaru. Uh, terashita. So she has her flashlight, and that's a terasa right here. Um, and she's shining light onto the rope ladder. But before that, the light was up on the treehouse. So it started at the treehouse, and it went down to follow the rope ladder, the light that she's shining on the treehouse. And feverish. Yes. Uh, Hontoni. Uh... Nagaina wa bashigoda. So I think Hontoni is like truly. Yep. Um, and then, so it's like talking about something that's long, you know, the long right. ladder. <laughs> yep, exactly. The long rope ladder. Nice. And What's the bit at the end? Uh, na, so nawa ba, so nawa bashigo means rope ladder. Like it nawa means rope and bashigo makes it into ladder, I guess, somehow. <laughs> but nawa okay. part means rope. Um maybe if I hit bashigo. I'm not sure how exactly the other part gets made into ladder. And da is just, you know, telling us that it's this is just describing this item. Yeah. It truly was a long rope ladder. Very long. Wow. Okay, now I gotta zoom into this picture somehow. <laughs> uh, you can uh, press and hold control on your keyboard and then start scrolling up and down. Oh, I don't know if that's gonna work here. <laughs> uh, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> um, it's, oh. um, Do you have a trackpad? Maybe you can. Uh, no, when use I did that, it. Yeah. I think this specific program won't let me do that. So what I'm going to do instead is just open the PDF version of this and quickly flash over to where we are. This is the first time uh, I'm using this program. We used That's the PDF before. So it just means I'll have to 
keep track. There's not a lot of pictures, so oop, here's a picture. Um, I'm gonna try climbing it. And what does Jack say, Cookie? Choto, choto mateo, choto mateo. Oh no, it's choto mateo. So that means hang on, wait a minute. Exactly. And why don't you continue that sentence? Jack wa awatete to meru, no, to meyo to shita. So that means Jack. Um, not sure what awatate means. Awatate but, um, means to be yeah. in a panic, like I am right oh, now. Oh, so in a so Jack in a panic it. stopped. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, I think that's what it meant. Jack in a panic stopped. Yes. Um. Yeah. So yo toshita. This is the probably the first time you've seen this, but feverish. I think you've seen yo toshita a lot. Do you remember what yo toshita means? Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty bad with uh, remembering like hiragana stuff. Uh, well, this is kind of like a grammar <laughs> point. That's the only reason why I'm asking you. Oh, okay. Hmm. So yotoshita uh, is used when you do not actually do the verb normally. So oh, komedu means to stop somebody rather than to stop yourself, I believe. So he's saying that Ash in a panic is trying to stop Annie, but he doesn't actually succeed in stopping her. Oh, what that's okay. And feverish. What does um Jack continue to say? I think. Hi, uh, nakani dare kai tada. Uh, dosuru or dosurun da yo. Uh. So like naka ni is like within. <laughs> uh, I feel like I should know dare ka, but I'm not sure. Do you know dare on its own? I think that means somebody. Yep, it does mean somebody. Dare ka, because oh. dare is who, and ka kind of makes it into some who, like how that becomes someone in English. We yeah. change to who, but it's the same idea. Like it's who's, it's the only one that's kept is where, where and somewhere. But okay. Yeah, exactly. Someone. So I think like someone inside, it sounds like, and then itada. Oh, if. <laughs> right. So if someone's inside, uh, dosurun da yo. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know sudo? I'm sure. I'm sure you know sudo. What does sudo mean? Um, is that to do, I think it is to do. Okay. So this do basically means what? So what will you do? Do surun da yo. What should we do? Or what will you do? So in other words, if it happens that someone is inside of the treehouse, what are you going to do about? Like what? What are you going to do? What's What's going to happen? Oh, do that's do. pretty interesting. Uh, shikashi, ani wa jaku ni kamawazu, uh, kaichu dento. Uh, However, Annie didn't pay Jack any mind at all, and she just continued to um, climb up this uh, ladder while um, holding her um, flashlight. And um, Cookie, what do you guys want to do? Um, so Jack is um not sure not sure what kurayami ni means. So yami means like dark and kurai means dim. So kurayami just means darkness, like it just turns it into a noun. Um okay, so Jack went into the darkness mm. on his own. And how about the kosarita? The bit at the end. So um I'm actually also a little confused about the ko sarita. Because I almost want it to be like kowasareta. 
I said he would be afraid to be like alone in the darkness, but it's not saying that. So Kosadudu has different possible meanings depending on the, co- the 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 kanji. One possible meaning is to pluck up courage, and a different meaning is to cross over, to go across, or to suppress. Which I don't think it's that to get over hardship. Do you, do you think it's going to be useful if you um go to the original ebook reader and then try and highlight it? It will. It's um... just a picture. Oh no! Oh, it's just a picture. It's just a picture. This this right here is a picture. So there's no way to highlight it. That's why I couldn't zoom in on the other page. Uh, it, it's because it's a picture. So yeah. I'll just have it that I should look this up later. Like ask a Japanese person. I'm guessing it's saying that he was unable. He he was like holding his his fear like the he was holding his fear of the darkness alone or something. But mm. that will be a little bit of mystery about the last one. All we know is he's alone in the darkness, and then ko sareta. Now we're starting chapter two, um, Chuse no Oshiro no Hon, which is the book of the castle of the Middle Ages, and oh, wow. feverish. Oni guys shimasu. Hi, uh, Dore mo. Sorry, I'm gonna restart. Uh, Dore mo i mai wa yo. Nice. So earlier you saw dare ka. Dare mo is related to that word. How do you think it's different? Well, dare ka means somebody, yes. and do, dore mo means could it be like, uh, like also someone? Or... It's actually the opposite. It means nobody. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> So it pretty much ends up meaning there's no one here, you know, yep. but there's no one here, something like that. And who who's talking right here, Jack or Annie? From Good this... question. Well, right here we have a wa. Went... Oh. There's a yeah. wa right here. Only one character will say wa. Which oh. one? I, Is wa feminine it... or masculine, do you think? I remember we covered this. I just can't quite remember. Um... It is feminine. So this <laughs> is Annie talking. I had no idea uh, yeah. Japanese had masculine slash feminine uh-huh. words of speech. I thought it was restricted to um, things like French or German. So this mostly or only Russian. exists in books and movies. Um, to, okay. to a certain extent, either gender will be using these kind of, the feminine and masculine markers in actual Japanese. But in media, they like to make it really obvious who's a boy and who's a girl. So there's certain things that will only show up for these characters. So wa is actually pretty feminine. It's not super common for a male to use it, but it's not. It's it's kind of like how like in English is stereotypically female, but boys will also use like. Like, oh, I went to the store and she was like, oh, I talked to somebody the other day or something, you know. Traditionally, uh, it's a feminine word, and in media, it's going to be used by girls, not really boys. But um, uh, men can use like, and I'm sure they I do. never really thought of that. Wow. So it's it's the same as that. Uh, so yeah, this latest now Annie is talking, and now it's your turn, Cookie. Makurana no makurana ki no ue kara ani no koe ga shita. So. I'm not sure what this bit at the beginning. Well, you saw this word earlier. You saw the word kurayami. Yes. Well, this right here is ma. You know what mashiro means or makuro? Um, I know what mataku means. Mataku. It's similar to that kind of. Ma basically means completely. Oh, right. So completely kurai, which means completely dim. So dark. Is a fine way to say again. So, so, what is dark? Yeah, so it's completely, it's a completely dark. Um, no, nah, no, nah, hang on. <laughs> Sorry, I just got to reverse the order. Um, from the top of the tree, it is very dark or completely I... dark. Is that right? Basically, yep. Yep. Annie's voice. Um, I'm not sure how shita is used just, in this context. Um, so koiga shita just means like someone used their voice. It tends to be a little bit of, so you're not having a conversation with somebody and you're not calling out to them necessarily. So it's basically a very generic way to say someone made noise. 
So oh, in English, okay. we probably just say Annie said, because it doesn't really, it doesn't have any connotation with it, really. So when, if I tried, so in the end, if I tried to completely try translating this into English, the previous line and this one, it would be like, oh, there's no one here. Um, Annie said uh, from the top of the tree in the complete darkness, something like that. Or you might say Annie's voice came out of the darkness from above yeah. the tree. Might, yeah, might that, that would word. be more like it. Hi, hi, exactly. Jacko wa yohodo ie ni kaite shimao ka to omotta ga, ano, takusan no hon ga ki ni natte shikata ga nai. So, Jack, he was kind of thinking, like, hmm, maybe I should go home, back back home to my house. Oh, he was kind of really greatly thinking this. However, um, that there's a whole, he's kind of curious in all the books that are up there. So it's kind of like, what can I do? I, I can't, can't just not, I can't just not look at the books. So the <laughs> bit at the end is like, that means to be interested in or to yeah. like. Okay. means to be interested in. And oh, okay. means I can't, I can't, I have to do it. There's no helping it. Does it come from uh, the? Uh, does it come from Kiniru? Yes. Okay. It's the same key. Um, this key, or Kini Muku, is also similar to that. They're all related. The the keys, the 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 sensing presence, sort of spirit, so sort spirit. of thing. So to have spirit towards something means you're interested in it. You're like you're curious. I see. Um, this is too long for feverish. So, Cookie, do you want to try this guy? Yeah, I, I'll I'll give it a try. I'm probably going to make a few mistakes, but let, here's go. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Uh, Nawabashko, uh, yoji no botteku u chi ni toku no sora ga usura ya usura to Right. So deciding where the start is always a part. I'm just going to make you start over here first. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to try and decipher this. Um, nawabashiko. So what's a... Is, is nawabashiko the latter part? Yep, yeah, it it's is the latter. latter. Nawabashiko. Uh, or yoji no botteku uh... you know noboru oh that means to climb right yep so yoji no boru is just describing the way they climbed which is more of a clambering kind of way because we're talking about oh. jack he's not gonna do it if he's kind of clambering his way up yeah do you, um do you know what this uchi is telling us um Oh, I, I don't think I've seen Uchi in this scenario so or this context. This is super common in actual Japanese, but you're correct. It doesn't normally show up in textbooks. This is a time phrase. It basically means while. While? So okay. During the time Jack is climbing up the ladder, this other stuff is happening. So, uh, oops. Oh, I not no screen. worries. I'm just have no idea. Wait. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> you might want to go to pages forward, I think. I don't really know. I don't think it's forward. Oh, did you go too far forward? You're right. I went backwards. You're correct. Yeah. Good job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no hi, hi, hi. We are over here. So we just did the first line. Now we're at Toku no Sora ga Usura to Akaru Kutnateru no ni. Kiga tuita. You know what kiga so, tuita means? No, I don't think I don't think I've seen that. <laughs> so kiga tuita is different than kini natteru. They both have ki, so we both have to do with spirit. But kiga tuita means to come to a realization. And a lot of times oh, it'll, wow. it will also be used when you wake up, like if a character was like in a coma and they come to awareness. Kiga tsuku will be used in that case as well. So it's any kind of like your brain has turned on. It's basically Kiga Suku. 
Oh, okay. So, um, is there a root form of the word? Like, um, yeah, like, uh, you... Oh, okay. So, I it's think I might want to spirit. Yeah. To notice, to become aware, to perceive. Yeah. Okay. Um. And then. Uh, no sort of no wait no i just went up i need to get used to reading top to bottom i know so weird so earlier we had it that the the top area was very kudai right yeah so very very dark however something has not dated what has not dated uh the sky got much brighter didn't yes. it um, yeah apparently that would make sense. means slightly brighter so it, it was kind of the middle of the night when they escaped, but it was actually right before dawn was the time. I told you middle night earlier, but it was right before dawn. Uh, I see. So the dawn is basically happening. So altogether, why don't you try the sentence once more? Okay. Now, Abashigo, Yoji no Boteku Chini. No, I held I held the u sound. Um, toku no sora ga, sora ga usura to akaru ku natte iru no ni ki ga tsuita. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So don't translate no ni as even though. Don't don't do that. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Uh, this is I, I think this might be like nanification or pronoun no and then knees because it's ki ni na, ki, ni ki ga tuku. so the thing that he ki ga tuku is this stuff yeah so he realized this guy got brighter yes wow yeah. when when did he realize this uh oh good question uh after he climbed up the ladder and Not he got after. into the darkness it's during oh. During, oh, okay, right. right. Okay, now feverish, it is your turn. Right. Uh, yoga ake wa uh, jime tanoda. Hi, hajimeta. Oh. <laughs> Yo, yoga ake hajimeta. So this right here is, um, you know, a compound verb. We got akeru and hajimeru. Okay, well. I feel like akeru has something to do with brightening up. It does. And do you know what yo right here means? Kind of yeah. remind, might remind me of yoru. Yeah, it's nighttime. Yep. So I guess so, like the night was uh, brightening for the first time. <laughs> yes. So this hajimita is less first time, or but it's more like to start. So the night is starting to brighten up. So in other words, the dawn is breaking. The dawn hmm. has finally broken. Okay. Um. Shikashi, treehouse no naka wa mada makura datta. However, within the treehouse, it was still completely dark and cookie. Uh, okay. Ani ga, sorry, ani ga, uh, akichu ten, tento, dento de yuga, yuka ni tsumareta hon o terashite iru. Um, okay, so, so, and, so, Annie um, is, or something like that. I, mm -hmm. I don't know what the right word is for it in English. So, Annie is um, doing terasu. Yeah, so, I know that kanji, uh, the te, um, it is to do with, like, illumination or exactly. something. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And she's illuminating um, with the ka the kaichu dento. Kaichu den dento. I'm not sure what that is. That means flashlight. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to ask about that earlier. Um, but yeah, thanks for letting me know. Um, you probably had to repeat that a few times too. I bet. Nah. Um, you can. Uh, so, um, I've seen that kanji somewhere. I think it's well, um, a storehouse or something. That's a good guess. Um, I do feel like that shows up in a word similar to that, but yuka actually just means floor. Oh, yep. That the homes are to maritad. Oh, oh, the floor was packed with books. Right. So and Annie was uh, 
well, I guess you could say Annie's face brightened up Mm-mm. at the side of it. Where did, where did, face, where did face come from? Um, it, from? It's just an expression. It's just an expression. That could be an expression, but specifically this is Annie ga kaichu dento de yuka ni tsumareta hon o terashite iru. So there's no expression going on here. It's some very... So don't, don't go too deep. We have Annie is illuminating whatever is attached to O. What is she oh, illuminating? Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so she's using her flashlight to illuminate, uh, sorry, to uh, illuminate the books on the floor. Exactly. Yeah, her, okay, that makes yep. more sense. Thank you. Yep. Her face is, not, but you're right. Teras, te, teras can be used to illuminate someone's face, but I think her face would have been written in here somewhere. <laughs> if it was, yeah. If it was. Okay, so feverish. Onigaishimasu. So that's dinosaur, like a picture of a dinosaur. Mm, close. Oh, dinosaur country. <laughs> Not, that'd be, that, that, that got farther. Like in a way oh. it's close to the Chizu <laughs> can mean map. Um, but Zukan okay. is a picture dictionary book. You remember that word popping up a whole lot last time? Uh, Zukan. <laughs> that was the main book that he was very interested in. So what 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 is what is happening with this book? Uh, looks like could it be like opened? So that'd be like aketa or hiraita or something like that. Ata just is like aru. You know aru or arimas. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what Arimas is. I think Aru is like to have. Yes, it well, it can be. Exist. Uh, it's it's like yeah. to exist. So a lot of times it would translate in English as oh. there oh. is. So there was a picture dictionary book of um dinosaurs. And feverish, I want to give you this next line as well. Okay. Uh Futari wo uh you no uh, jidai. Uh, is that a small tsu? I think it's like. This is a big tsu because it's starting its own word right here. It's not part oh. of a word. Okay. Cool. So it's a hetsu re te te kure ta hon da. Perfect. You know what tsureru means? Um, to take along? Means... Yep. Yeah. It is take along. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. So we're describing the hon as what did it do? Um, the, uh, what is jidai? I'm not. Ah, so jidai is era. Do you see this right here? Looks a lot like toki, like time. Like time right there, and this right here is like generation. So time generation is era. So which okay. era were they to that it did? Do you remember? You were here last time. Yes. You know where they're they're to the dinosaur era. Hi. And who was Uh, I believe both of them. <laughs> yes. And how, like, what Tsuraritad them? Oh, the book. Hi. So altogether, it says the book, that thank you book. <laughs> <laughs> thank you book. Um, this book um, brought them all the way over to the era of dinosaurs and they're kind of thankful toward it so because i'm on the free version of zoom i'm going to stop sharing this specific zoom link and i'm going to send a new link in the exact same place you saw the link before so it'll just be toodles and you just reclick the link yeah, I'll see you in two seconds. do not click the same link that was there before it's going to be a new link